So now we have our form and um, you know once again this form is um, going to go to the add category.php and um, the only value that we're sending is um, category name. Notice I've spelled it with a camel case and um, let's look at the split view so you can see. So that's um, we need to make sure that when we code it that we spell it uh, exactly the same way with the same caps and everything. Um, and it's also helpful at this point to go back to localhost and um, and then just take another look make sure that we know what our uh, field names are and in this case category name is also spelled with cam camel case so it's exactly the same as how I coded it in the form so that's nice to know. So the other thing to remember is um, that when when we do um, go to this add category once we're done with with adding it we want to come back to this page and this page is called category list JR so I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to go ahead and edit this um, this um, add category dot PHP and this is all code so um, when we're all done we want to display the category list page and so I need to paste in that page name there and then um, what we're going to do right at the very top is get our category data and um, so let's just go ahead and put in category name and that's going to be our variable name and then we're getting this from the form and its post and um, and then the name on the form, um, the the label or the ID um, was category name. So we don't need these others. We can get rid of them. And um, just to be sure, I'm going to go back to my page and select that form and make sure that I'm using the post method because remember none of this would work if I was using the get method. Alright so now to validate our input um, all we need to do is check to see if the category name is empty so we can again we can get rid of um, all of this other stuff this one's checking to th for three things to see if they're empty and then for our message we could just leave something general here and um, and then if it is valid what we want to do is again connect to the database and then we're going to type in our query or edit our query and I'm just going to go ahead and do this outside of the video to save a little time and then I'll show you so here's the um, Here's here's the code, and again we're in, entering or inserting into the categories table, and the only thing that we're entering is the category name, and um, so that means we only have one value, which is category name. So I was able to use the same code and just edit it, and I, it's a lot simpler um, because there's only one thing to enter. And um, this is the code that actually will insert into the database. So now that we're done, um, we can go ahead and test it. So I want to save this, and then I'm going to go back to the list page and hit F12. And then let's um, try adding a category. So I'm just going to add ZZZ, and then it worked. How about that? So, um, so you know this is kind of a nice way to do this where the form is on the same page and you could see all the categories listed right there um, so now what we need to do is work on the delete